Today, the Supreme Court rejecting a bankruptcy settlement involving opioid maker Purdue Pharma. It would have paid billions of dollars to the families of opioid victims. Raven Brown live at five after speaking with a Midlothian woman who says she is devastated by the decision. This news devastating millions of families across the world, including Jill Chikowitz, whose twin brother died from being addicted to Oxycontin. Purdue Pharma reaped billions of dollars selling painkiller Oxycontin that has been largely blamed for the opioid epidemic. The five to four decision blocked an agreement put together by state and local governments and victims. The Sackler family, who owned the company, would have contributed up to $6 billion that could be used to settle opioid-related claims and would give up ownership of the company. The agreement provided that the company would come out from bankruptcy as a different entity with its profits used for treatment and prevention. In exchange, the Sackler family would have immunity from future civil lawsuits. The deal was supported by a vast majority of current opioid victims and their families, and many of them, including Jill, now in shock by this move. It would help with same-day services. It would help families that are raising grandkids, you know, because they've lost their own children. It would help so many people. But let me, I, I'll, I'll be clear. There's no amount of money that is ever going to take the pain away. There's no justice. This was the way we felt was the best plan we could come up with that we thought everybody would agree on. We did not foresee, I personally did not see this coming, but they would not, um, that they would go against it. Since her brother's death, Jill has partnered with the Mission Foundation, which is a Richmond-based treatment center for addiction. She was also able to launch a scholarship fund in Scott's name and start the nonprofit to end the stigma. The ruling also means that settlement talks with the Sacklers will have to start again while the Purdue Farmer bankruptcy proceedings continue. In Richmond, Raven Brown, 12 on your side. Thanks, Raven.